Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah, this is the program, right? Z underscore HR underscore sub report. Yeah. So what do you have written tables panel info types zero one and then declaration field catalog. So in the final structure panel data and the subtype username. Okay. You name you have taken. So you are taking the data from uh, one. I think uh, info type one, you see info type one, uh, we don't have subtypes, right? Okay. So that's why uh, you are not getting the data actually. So, so I mentioned uh, this is normal HR function model, HR read info type 21 has the subtype. Okay. So info type one, if you go to the screen, info type one in the standard PA. So no entry in table five readers. So, so there is no subtype, right? Only info type 21 has the family readers as a subtype. So that is the reason uh, you are not. So remove the star here. Okay. Hmm. Just uh, comment this uh, line code. And then what you are trying to display after that you are looping. Looping info type one data back down the subtype username. Okay. So why uh, you have taken a uh, U name? What is the U name? U name, uh, that is uh, here a uh, description. Yeah, U name actually, that is the name username. Of the yeah. No, no, name of the person name is, uh, the field is uh, different. The name of the person name is E name. I will show e you. E name? No. here e name e name is the yes. name of the applicant okay u name is different that means who created this master data that is called u name like mm -hmm. if i maintain the data in uh, pa 30 so that mm -hmm. is a u name who who created the master record so that is the u name actually so employee name is uh, e name if you see in the output see here See here, e name. E name is nothing but best. They have given the name as best. So this field is the e name, employee name. Okay. And the u name is what uh, here we have the u name, nothing but uh, so the person has itself changed the record. Okay. What we... For example, yeah. See, this is the u name changed okay. on changed by person. Mm -hmm. From which date the employee has changed the record, that person name will display here. Here we have other field, right? Name best. Yes. So this is the employee name. This is the username here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. I will do the correction. Okay. Remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. See here, <clears throat> uh, remove this uh, subtype, it's not required in info type one. There is no subtype, okay. I am commenting this one, yeah. Just now I commented, so we are trying to activate it. Okay, not required to change your uh, name description. Yeah, yeah, we can also change. Actually, this function model itself, uh, you need to call a function model HR read info type, right? Not subtype function. Model. So, yes. Right? Yeah, I'll try to call that function. So, here we are giving. Zero zero. 
you can enable or disable not an issue but we need to enable the exceptions okay. so what is the info type uh, declaration you have given ld underscore p0 So you have given the logical database? No, no logical no, database. Didn't, didn't. No, no, no. Yeah. We, we need to give the logical database. And then only we can get in the selection field. Okay. So we need to give the LDB name PNP and click on save. Okay. okay. Activate it. Hmm. Oh. Again, source score activation. Mm -hmm. Now we got the selection screen, right? data is not coming in. let me check if there any mistakes we can you know the debugging right how to keep the breakpoint uh, no no actually i need to learn debugging how to yeah yeah just stay here you keep the breakpoint here okay Start up do you know how to keep the breakpoint yes sir click on that yeah after yes, you see uh, this uh, white line is there right at the particular line you click here then the breakpoint yes, will be set yeah. session breakpoint and also okay. we can also use this button also Okay, set the yeah, session breakpoint. Right? So now we will let you. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you click on click directly, then it will stop there. Otherwise, we can go with the slash h option also. This one. Yes. Okay. Right now I am uh, clicking executing directly. So it stops here. Go to the tab desktop three. Always use okay. the tab desktop three. Okay. okay, okay. So here we have options called F5, F6, F7, F8. Do F5, you know what is F5? F5 okay. And uh, F6 is. Uh, mm, that is also stop next to program. Next. Uh, yeah, I will take Debugging process. Uh, see, uh, we have four options. We have we have breakpoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have breakpoint, and we can we can debug the program using slash h command. Okay. Okay in the selection screen okay. okay now so in desktop three first point take desktop three tab okay and then uh, we have options called F5, F6, F7, and then F7, and then F8, right? So F5 means, as you said, uh, it goes line by line. Yeah, okay. step by step. Okay, good. It goes line by line. It's just statement. Hmm. Okay. And F6 means, for example, uh, after clicking F5, what will happen? Uh, this is just FM, right? If you click on F5, it will go into the inside this uh, function module. Inside this function module? Uh, inside this function module? No, no, no. Call function HR in info type means this is a standard function module provided by the SAP. Okay. Okay. So okay. inside this function module, actually there is a logic written by SAP. So how okay. the data will come into our internal uh, table LTP triple zero one? How it will come? We are passing partner info type, some dates, subtypes. So based on these parameters, 
this fm retaining some data into this internal table right okay. so how the data is coming so yeah. how the data is coming is that the sap has written the logic so based on the parameters hmm. go to sc37 you know hmm. where to check the function module right sc37 yeah i know but i forgot yeah okay no problem i will uh, note that one also so click on uh, fm t code or fm c37 okay so if you go here a function model copy that function model hr read info if you click on display mm -hmm. here we have attributes go to attributes tab see here this is the what is the purpose of this uh, fm some description is there right? some hr ac function group some description hr authorization check this is the okay. rfc function uh, regular function model not rfc if it is rfc then this checkbox will be selected remote enable function model this one mm. okay this is a regular function model that's why it was checked to regular function model. see here here we, this is the main important thing this is the sap changed by sap who is the person responsible sap that means that this is the standard function model developed by sap okay, okay? so if you and go import tab see okay. here there are the parameters t class panner info type begin date end date so these parameters will be visible in our program see here okay. t class panel info type begin date all these okay. if you go to export here we have this sabar c that means sabar. vice versa it will show yeah if you see here in the import section we have all these parameters right in the programming side it will show in exporting section vice versa okay hmm. and if you go to export sabar c Here it will show no. as import, yes. importing subasi subasi okay and then if you have any changing variables it will show either over here we don't have any changing so that's why it is not showing and then Next tables time. tables we have infty underscore tab see here okay. the tables we have infty underscore tab okay okay so these are the standard parameters and then if we have any exceptions so see these are the exceptions okay see these are the exceptions and then this is the source code so this source code written by the sap so where it will return the data from info type 1 6 whatever the info type number we will pass to this function model it will return the data into the internal table this is a standard logic Okay. Okay. So if I click on F5, what will happen? It will go into the inside this function model. If I click on F5, see here. Yeah. So it is going internally. Some standard logic, SAP, LHRC, some standard uh, logic. It is uh, going. See. and if it is going inside okay mm -hmm. so what is the first statement here in the our function module what is the first statement here after data declaration so this is the first line authorization disabled something is there right? line number 50 okay so If I click on F I C, the cursor has come uh, inside this uh, function model. See here, logic. Okay, this is the H R read info type. So basically, yeah. if we click on F I F I F I means step statement by statement, right? So it yeah, will go inside the F M again. So if in after going inside, see there are a number of logic function modules, so many things of uh, logic are there, right? Written by S A P. so we yes. don't require to yes. debug all these things each line one and line one right so in order to promote yes. this function module you need to click on f7 
Okay. If you click on F7, what will happen? It will return function model and we are at the point of you know, custom program. See here. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Can you repeat again? Yeah. For example, I am at uh, line number 39, right? Okay. Okay. Cursor, cursor is here, line number 39. If I click on F5, it is going inside the function model. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's here. So if you want to come out from this function model, if you want to return back. Okay. So if you want to return back, click on this one F7. If you click on F7, okay. then you return back to our function model. Hmm. See. F7 means come back to main program. Yeah. Basically return. Okay. So example, we can say if we go inside the okay. FM and we want to come back then press F7. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the example. And uh, for, and one thing, what is the significance of F6? F6 is uh, yeah. That is also step by step, right? Yes, that is also step by step, but. See, F6 means if I click on F6, it will not go inside. It will come here directly okay. 58, okay. line number 58. If okay. I click on F6, it will not exit. Uh, directly yeah. go to yeah, direct, yeah, it will directly go to line number 58 here. Size of C. 58, okay. okay. Yeah. Currently, I am line number 39. Now, okay. I am clicking F6. Okay. See here directly cursor at 58. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So in order to go inside and then click back and F7 and then come back in order to avoid two way iteration. So we can use F6. Okay. Okay. Basically we can say here, if you see here, uh, I can't single step, single step. It is yeah. showing right. If you see here, this one F7 means return. It is F6. F6 means execute. Yeah. And this is continue means it will uh, completely execute the program. Execute your, yeah. Yeah. Basically, F6 is what if we uh, don't want to go inside the function, function model. Yeah. Inside the function model. Press F6. This is not only function module, uh, there are some other statements uh, where uh, we can use these things. For example, uh, there may be a cases like, uh, I will tell you, if you see the standard one, then you can see there are so many. Not only that, for example, this is a class, right? Standard class, this one. Okay. If you click on F5 here, it will go inside. Inside the class, this method was called, right? So it will go yeah. inside again. So we can also avoid going inside the process also. For example, if you have perform. So for example, uh, if you click on F5 here, it will go inside this perform. Okay. You know, perform statement, right? Subroutine, form and form. No. Do you know? Do you have idea? No, no idea. No, no idea. Okay. Yeah, I will explain you. So this one. 
not only uh, this is i am giving examples okay this is, this is one case other example is for perform statements also perform classes classes also yeah. the main thing is if you don't want to go inside anything inside the class or inside the perform or inside the function module if you don't want to go inside then if you click on f6 then it will directly execute that statement okay no. for example uh, if you have gone inside okay so in that case we will use the f7, f7. In, in order to return yes if you go inside f7 f7 means if inside fm or uh, class or uh, perform okay and we want to return return the from yeah return from the logic okay. return means so then press F7. Okay. 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 So basically, I will show you the step. Then you can understand. Yeah. See, for example, uh, where are we currently? So in the line number, this one red size of RC. Okay. So <laughs> this is returning uh, interpretable value zero. Okay, why it is returning zero? Maybe I think some info type one data may be properly not maintained, so that's why it is showing zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are going to the this reuse ALV grid display, right? This one. So yeah. if you want to come here directly, keep the breakpoint and click on, for example, where are I am currently? Line number one one five, right? Yeah. So if you want to go to the line number directly to this 146, so what will you do? You press F5 or F6 or F7 or F8. Uh, F6. I want to go. I want to go there. Jump it directly because I don't want to execute this field, uh, field catalog statement. All these things. So in that case, we will press F8. Okay. Okay. Keep the breakpoint there and press F8. Yeah. Okay. No. Before going to the complete process, if there are any breakpoints in between, then it will stop there. Okay. okay. For example, uh, now I am clicking on uh, F8 here. See here, the break uh, cursor position has come here. Arrow mark. Do you see the arrow mark here? Mm, yes, yes. On the red line? Yeah. See the cursor has come here. I, I, yeah, I see. Yeah. So before executing, if there are any uh, breakpoints between, so it will stop there. For example, uh -huh. currently I am uh, keeping one more breakpoint here. I am clicking on F8. Again, we will try to see here freshly. I am executing the program. Okay. Okay. Here it will stop directly this uh, line number 38. If I click on F8, what will happen? We will directly go to where the breakpoint is there, it will stop there. So wherever yeah. breakpoints are kept, it will stop there. Now I click on F8. See here it stopped here. Okay, how do you know where the data is coming or not? Sorry? <clears throat> how do you know is um, uh, data is coming, uh, you know, these uh, variables, there is no data comes, right? Variables. So for yes. this info type one, you are telling? Yeah. Yeah. yeah actually, this info type one, uh, 
there is a problem with the configuration actually they did not maintain properly usually this not happen in real time scenario when you work in the projects and client so the employees head then it should be the employee details right so in which department he was assigned and which in organization unit and all those details should, they should be maintained but so in this system uh, there may be a some configuration scenario so that's why it is not uh, getting the data you can try with uh, other info type for example uh, uh, last time i tried with info type 0 right you remember info type 0 or info type 6 you can try with that okay you can try with info type 0 or 6 yeah info type 0 so for info type 0 what the fm what fm we you will call which are read underscore info type because it don't have subtypes right here so for info type uh, you can take uh, es 0 006 address r 21 whatever you okay comfortable address or family details use this uh, fm because it has subtype right hr underscore read underscore subtype yes okay you try with this okay so one program is with info type 0 reading the uh, zero info type 000 actions hmm. info type. okay and create other program in other program you try with Sub info type 6 address or family details take any one info type of or you are comfortable with both then you your wish okay because info type 6 has a subtype info type 21 also has sub subtype right so info type 6 we have the permanent address emergency address subtypes info type 21 we have the father mother spouse child details right subtypes so use this as well okay, okay. and uh, yeah, tomorrow i will create one program yeah yeah you create those program so right now what i am trying to tell you is that if you want to delete the breakpoints here for example in the menu option you have delete all breakpoints okay okay for example uh, sometimes we may require 6 to 10 breakpoints sometimes we can't go in the each and every line and uh, you can't delete right if you click on delete all breakpoints then it will delete automatically okay see here the the breakpoint has gone here yeah that and also at the some fill catalog line 107 it was also removed and also this reuse ali grid display there is no breakpoint here click on save yeah click on uh, f8 then uh, see the it was not stopped actually right okay and one more thing regarding breakpoints uh, i want to share you this uh, for example there is a option called deactivate all breakpoints here right? okay deactivate all and activate all sometimes uh, the breakpoints are not activated so you can click on like activate all, all breakpoints uh, so for example yes. uh, i saved this breakpoint i click on deactivate all breakpoints currently what will happen if you click on deactivated so this will be in gray mode previously mm -hmm. the color was thick right now it was in uh, gray mode you see here yes yes it means they are all deactivated that means if you click on f8 it will execute directly it will not stop at any breakpoint completely program See? execute yeah complete a program execution this is my program okay. now if you click again you are freshly running the program now it was activated see here okay so sometimes yeah. you may require deactivate all then you can use this functionality 
and one more thing for example uh, sometimes in the standard uh, programs you may get some messages some error messages so in that case uh, you know the message class and message number right sc 91 do you know sc 91 people no 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 idea yeah sc 91 is for messages if you want to display the error message information message warning message so then we will create the messages in the message classes so okay. for example let's see any classes are there Some yeah see here uh, we can give the messages here some uh, you can say invalid uh, uh, invalid date like that we can give some uh, meaningful messages here in order to display the error messages warning messages okay. so th this is the message class this is the message class and this is the message number 0000, 0000. you can create any number of messages 1 2 3 like that invalid invalid name you can say any number of messages so if you want to keep the breakpoint at particular place then we have option called breakpoint breakpoint get see here breakpoint get message here okay so if you go here message tab id means you need to give the message class id what is the message class id this is the id for example this is the id mm here -hmm. in the message class id message number means 0001 like that so i will tell you in more detail so that uh, when you do the real, uh, scenario once in the program in the enhancement section i will tell you okay no you got some idea about uh, breakpoints uh, if you go hands on then you can understand you practice those options f5 f6 all those okay 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 and now i am telling you about the concept of time constraints If it means uh, complete execution, yeah, execution continue. Okay, so now I am now I am telling you about the time constraint concept. See here, time constraint means so we are creating the data based on the dates, right? Yes. So in SAP standard, we have time constraint like uh, time constraint one. Time constraint two. Time constraint three. So time constraint A. See here, no total. How many time constraints? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. so time uh, basically this is very important time constraint means like uh, uh, if you see in the standard screen uh, we will have the time constraint concept here see here time constraint yes so for each and every info type the time constraint is maintained by the standard sap see here this is the t code called pm01 okay pm01 Okay. Ah, PM zero. Go to the T code PM zero one. Okay. Give the info type number here. You can give info type one, two, six, whatever, and then click on info type characteristics. Okay. And you can see all the info types. See info type zero actions, info type one, 
personal data this is the address details all those details are there right? so for example if you take info type zero actions double click on it you have the time constraint here okay yeah. so i am mentioning the t code here you can go t code pm0 okay hmm. here enter for type number 0, 0, 0, or 0, 0, 1, or 0, 6. Okay, and then click on info type characteristics See here, info type characteristics is there, right? Okay. Click on info type characteristics and it will show all the info types by default. And then you click double click on it, we have the time constraints here. So, what are the time constraints? See here, one, two, three, A, B, T, Z. Yes. Okay. So, what is the significance of this one? Time constraint means no gaps, no overlaps. Gaps are allowed. Gaps. Gaps are allowed. Overlap also allowed. Okay. See here, no gaps, no overlaps. That means, for example, if you take info type, is a basic salary, info type eight, okay? Basic salary. Okay. So what, uh, generally, if employee joins on, uh, assume that employee join on 2021, right? So his yeah, basic right. salary is for till one year, right? Generally, 2021. Yes. Money. Let's say some other employees joined on, uh, for example, 15th of uh, June 2021. And what is the end date? We can say 14th of 2022. Hmm. For next year, before one day, this one year will be completed. Yes. For example, uh, if you take uh, here, are there uh, any gaps like only one record is created right in particular one year term yes only one record is created at a time right it's not like the from uh, january to june and june to july it's not like that right employee basic salary yes so for only one year only one record is there for the employee basics so here there are no gaps and no overlaps here so I will remove this example. You can understand better in the second example. For example, here gaps are allowed, but no overlapping. Means, for example, you can say PA zero zero twenty one. So PA zero zero twenty one is for what? Family details, right? Yes. So in case of this, I'm creating the subtype of child one. Okay. okay. So this child one, for example, that, that child was born, let's say, uh, in the family, born on uh, zero, uh, one, zero, four, twenty. Okay, this is one record we will create 31st 12999 like this. This is one okay. record. So, so after some time, after the some certain period of time, there will be some other child, right? Let's say after one year, after two years, or after five years, 
example i can say some 0105 2023 assume that is some future date just i am giving example right okay see here the gaps are allowed this is the meaning gaps are allowed so for a one child to second child there is some gap right two years or three years something so yes, the yes. gaps are allowed here so this is a time constraint no overlaps no overlap means at the same time there will not be any record for the certain time period so it will not overlap it not it will, uh, this child too will not fall on the same date right yes sir so so that is called no overlapping okay and then uh, what is the time constraint <laughs> time constraint One one is completed, two is completed. Now time constraint three. Yeah. Time constraint three means gaps are allowed, overlaps are allowed. Example is go time zero zero fourteen or go uh, time. Zero zero one five. So what is info type fourteen and fifteen means? This is info type fourteen is recurring payments deductions. That means there are some allowances, payments, deductions for the employee, right? Yes, yes. And uh, so that is info type fourteen. Info type fifteen means additional payments. See, for example, uh, employee uh, company organization has given the bonus to the employee. So in that case, so the bonus can be in between also, in between the uh, month also. So in that case, uh, so you, for example, zero one. When will the salary will be created? Assume that uh, the salary will be created on the first of the month. Assume, okay. Zero one, zero one, twenty twenty one. Some bonus has been zero one zero one two. Assume that the for the end end of the month twenty twenty one. And there is one more record fifteenth of June twenty uh, March fifteen to twenty twenty one. Okay. So this is bonus. This is what some uh, allowance. We can say uh, car allowance. Otherwise, house allowance. See here what happened. In the same month, he got two things, right? Yes. Bonus. So for the bonus is for the complete month, but in the same month, the fifteen three zero three twenty, he got some car allowance, house rent allowance. What happened here? So it can be gaps. So here it is the record is overlapping, right? In the same month, the record is overlapping, and okay. also the gaps are also around. That means before this fifteen, so there is a gap, right? Fifteen days of gap. Yes. So gaps are also allowed here. Okay, so if you go to the standard, uh, this one already defined here. So actually, see here, for type one constraint, no gaps, no overlaps. See here, record must have no gaps, no overlap. For type two, gaps allowed, included, no overlapping. Uh huh. For type three, gaps are included. Can SD exist to more than once? That means gaps are allowed, overlaps are also allowed. okay and uh, info type a b t z uh, so these are uh, some other time constraint uh, you can't understand at a time first uh, try to digest uh, these three time constraints okay okay try to understand these three time constraint go to uh, pm01 and try to check and for uh, some of the info types you know right so check the time constraint there what is the time constraint there then you can understand so 
What are the details there? Something.